Hey friends, Erica here from Milestone Mom and welcome. As promised, I am going to show you today how to create a preschool Christmas printable. Um, it is December, it's my favorite time of the year and I am really excited to show you this. Um, this is actually not the one we're going to create, but I wanted to show you that I have this free on my shop over at shop milestonemom.com. If you want to go check out my Shopify store, this is absolutely free. I have two printables in there for you. Um, the first one is if you want to count forward. Um, and the second one is if you want to count back. So just wanted to give you guys um, two different options for that, but go snag that. That's free. Um, created it in Canva where we're going to be creating the other printable. Um, again, shop.milestonemom.com. And also, make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel because I am beginning a year-long thematic unit. Yes, you heard that right. So each month, I pick a theme. So obviously, it's December. I've already done a couple um, December. Um, let's see, we did reindeer and we did Christmas trees. We have um, a New Year's um, activity coming up. And then in January, it will be our winter theme. So every single Friday, I get online and I share a book with you guys, songs, crafts, treats, um, printables that you can do with your child for the whole week. So I hop on on Friday. You guys can gather your things, go shopping during the week weekend. And then during the week, you can work with your child. And then that next Friday, I will have another video uploaded. The good thing about this is I'm meeting you guys where you're at. So most, not all, but most of the videos, or sorry, the books that I have available for your child are actually available on YouTube as read alouds. So if you don't want to order it from Amazon, if you can't make it to the library, they have the read alouds on YouTube. And then the crafts and the activities that we do, um, I'm hoping that you have most of the things in your home. Um, if not, it's just a quick trip to the Dollar Tree or Walmart, which is where I got most of mine. So again, you don't wanna miss out. 2021 is coming up and we are ready for lots and lots of fun things. So let's go ahead and dive in. So again, this is on my shop if you wanna go snag that. But let's go ahead and go over to what we are going to create. So this is a phonics clip cards printable. And I love these because we are going to add a picture and then they're gonna to have to figure out what the beginning sound of these are. So obviously this is a sleigh, so we, we have an S, and then they can put on, there's actual, actual mini um, uh, clothespins that you can get at the Dollar Tree, which would work perfect for this, or you can just use regular size clothespins. If you don't have clothespins, then you can just use, um, oh goodness, uh, paper clips. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm drawing a blank. All right, so let's go ahead. Um, again, I like making these in Canva. You can get a free Canva account. This one is a pro account only because I use it all the time to make my printables. Um, and I will show you over here what is free and what is pro um, so you guys can see. But you can make beautiful educational printables just with the free version. So go to canva.com and sign up for an account. So this is one that I already have created and we are actually going to replicate it, okay? Um, I do wanna show you, I could actually, I can add a page, which adds a blank page, okay? Which is how we're going to start. Um, or I could actually duplicate this page and then just change some things out but I don't want to duplicate it. I want us to start from scratch. Um, I should mention that this is actually um, a US letter size. So I don't know if you see this up here. So it's an eight and a half by 11, and that will be an option when you sign on. Let me show you real quick. 
So if you come here, you're just going to go to US letter document. Okay, and that's how you're going to start creating it. But I already have mine up. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is actually make the boxes. Okay, and a fun way to do that is go over here to elements. And we are going to find a square. And let's see. Let's see if there's any black and white squares. Okay, so let's go ahead and choose this one. And we will click and drag it down here. And we do want to leave some room up here for our um, title. Okay, so let's see. And then we will go ahead and resize it. And what I like to do is once I have the size, the, the way that I want the size, um, I make sure I copy and paste and drag. That way you're not trying to resize and then you just don't have boxes that are um, the same. Okay. Or another thing you can do is if you already have this, look, I clicked on it, I'm going to copy. And watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to go down here and I'm going to paste. Okay. I guess it wants me to use my, so I'm going to, what I did was I commanded and hit command and V. I'm on a Mac. I'm not for sure what that is on a PC. And it actually brought all of this down. Okay, so that is another option. I'm going to go ahead and delete it because we are going to start from scratch. So I don't like this box. I want something that is a little bit less, that has a little bit less of a border on it. So I'm just going to click on it and hit backspace and that will delete it. I'm going to go with this one over here. So all I did was click on it and it brought it over here. And then we are going to resize it. And I do want to show you that we are actually in 43% zoom. So if you go up to 100%, this gives you a little bit of a better idea of what it looks like on a full page um, when it prints out. But I like to usually be at about 50%. That way I can see all of the uh, page itself. So let's go ahead and size this. And I want it to be about this same size. It is a little bit different because I was just clicking and dragging. But I don't know if you noticed what I did here. Look, these right here, you can actually bring them out a little bit. So I'm just not going to reinvent the wheel. That is already sized right, but I just want to show you how to do it from scratch. So, okay, have my square. And so I'm going to click on it. Did you notice what color is this square? Mm -hmm. It's pink. So you can either keep it pink or you can change it. So I'm going to change it because I do want it black. So if you click on it and go up here to the pink and just go over to black. Okay. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to command C because I am on a Mac. Again, I'm not for sure. It's been a while since I've used a PC. And then Command V, Command V, Command V, Command V. And I'm going to click and drag these. So they are the same size. Okay, we want the same size. It's already starting to look cute, isn't it? Okay, and then I don't know if you are noticing this, but um, as I'm clicking and dragging, do you see these pink lines? That is telling me that it is centered. Okay, so there's no question if your um, lines and such are centered. I'm actually going to move these over just a little bit. See, there you go. It tells me it's centered. Okay, so we have this one. And I need one more. So copy, paste, and drag. Okay, now we need to see, do we have enough room here at the top? I think we might have to put these a little bit closer together because we do want to have 
um, a heading up there. And one thing I'm going to go ahead and do, and you guys obviously will not be doing this, but I like to put <clears throat> my name on my printables. So I'm going to go ahead and put this down here. That is way too big. So I will go ahead and click and drag that smaller. Sometimes you have to click out here. So I'm going to click out and then go back in and drag it. Sometimes it's just a little bit finicky. So there we go. That's how I get my name on my printables. And that pink line is telling me that it is centered. So I'm going to move, let's see if we can move these down just a little bit. Again, looking for that pink, pink to tell me that it's centered. Okay. What do you guys think? I think that looks pretty, pretty good. Okay. So now we need pictures, right? So let's go ahead and find some pictures. So if you go over here to, um, is it? Let's see, let me type in Christmas. Yeah, it's not photos, it's elements. I always get that mixed up. Okay, elements. So Christmas. And look at all oh, of this that comes up. Okay, so let's pick a snowman. Okay, now if you notice, this says pro. So this is only for the free the um paid version. Okay, it looks like Christmas tree, we could do, they're giving me a lot of pro options. You know, I'm just gonna go with the free versions because I bet that's what most of you have. So let's find free stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and pick this star and to get it over on your page, you can click and drag. I'm gonna delete that or you literally can just click on it, okay? And then we are going to have to resize this. So you're going to go up here. You're going to scroll until it gets to be a certain size. And then look, you can make it bigger that way or this way. But let's go ahead and get them in here and then we can resize, okay? Okay. Let's see what else is free. So we do have the lights. How about a, let's do a snowflake. It's gonna be kind of hard to see, isn't it, on the background? So let's not do that one. I just hit backspace to delete that one. And it's probably showing me a whole bunch of pro ones only because I have the pro version, it would be my guess, because there are a lot of free stuff, free things in here too. All right, so let's do presents. I have presents for Christmas, right? Okay, so I'm so excited for you guys. I do actually have a private Facebook group. Um, if you want to head over to that, just go to Facebook and type in Milestone Mom Community and join that, especially if you have a um, child who is zero all the way through preschool because that's what I focus on. Um, mostly that toddler to preschool range. So um, head over and I would love to see your printables if you guys want to put some up there. So let me go ahead and change this up. Let's see if that's Let's see what happens if I type in free, if anything comes up. That didn't really help, did it? Okay, let's see what else we have. So we do have a Christmas tree. We're gonna definitely use the tree. And it looks like all of these, ooh, I love that. Look. <clears throat> magic recommendations all of these are free so it's showing us the free things definitely need Santa and we need a reindeer right I mean it is Christmas and Rudolph guides the sleigh 
Oh, and speaking of Rudolph, um, one of my <clears throat> weekly lessons is on the littlest reindeer. And uh, we um, made reindeer food that you can sprinkle out on Christmas Eve so the reindeer can find your house. And I have printable tags um, available um, for that as well. So make sure you look for that YouTube video called um, The Littlest Reindeer. So that'll be fun. And then let's see, might as well do a snowman. Which is kind of hard to see. So let's see. Let's see if there's anything else. Hmm. And that snowflake, but that would be hard to see as well. Let's do the bells instead. I do love the snowman, but he's hard to see. So I'm going to click and make this smaller. And there we go. So we actually have our graphics. So now we're going to go in and we're going to make these circles and put the let letters in there. Okay. So this is a star. So let's go in, let's go back to elements, which is where we're at. And I'm gonna type in circle, okay? Because we need to find some circles. And we want the ones that don't have anything on the inside. I'm just trying to find a thin one. I think this one might be good. Okay, so we're gonna make three of those. Actually, I'm gonna resize this just a little bit. Okay, this is, let's see, for some reason that was white, I'm not for sure why. So let's go ahead and resize this. Let's see what it's looking like at 100%. So if you click on that and go over here to 100% um, over here, it will show this a little bit bigger. So, and as I'm finalizing my touches, I kind of like to go over here just to see where we're at because this is more of a true representation of how it will print out. Um, so we've got that. So I'm gonna again, copy, paste, paste, or command V. And I'm just gonna drag these over. Okay, and did you, are you paying attention to the pink? It's showing me that it is even. Okay. I'm gonna do a couple more of those. And if you wanted, you can click on all of them and copy and paste, and it will do the same thing. I just find this easier because I like to work on each one at the same time. So looking good. Let's do some more pasting and get these over here. Uh oh, I hope you guys see that my battery is going low. Well. I've been doing videos all day, so I probably should have plugged it in before I hopped on and did this. Okay, we're going to make this tree smaller. Okay, so we're just clicking on it and then dragging. Making sure that's centered. <coughs> we're getting there. This is starting to look really, really nice. I'm gonna put these down a little bit. Okay, and then here in a minute, we'll go in and make sure that all of these are lined up once we're finished with our product. So, more copying and pasting, get this over here. So please do come over to my private Facebook group and share these. Um, I know people are starting to share their um, activities that they've done with their child based on the units that I've done every week. So any of the products or the printables that they've done, the activities, they're starting to share them, um, those in there as well. So head on over, just go to Facebook, Master Mom, community and you'll be able to find me. 
And there's two places I'm really active. That is my Facebook group and also email. So you can go to milestonemom.com. Um, I do have free printables on my homepage. Once you sign up to get a free printable, then you will be on the email list, okay? All right, so I'm not gonna worry about, I can already tell some things are wrong with this, but let's go ahead and get some letters in here. Okay, so we go over here to text, and this is a star, right? So we're gonna need an S for sure. So we'll do an S. Okay, so let's go ahead, I wanna copy and paste that, because I wanna put an S somewhere else. An S over here. And then let me put an S over here. Obviously, this is a Santa. <coughs> and then we'll actually probably make that a big S because he is the proper noun. That is Santa. Okay, so we've got an S. We can drag this one down. And then let's see, that's all we have. So let's go ahead and copy. Okay, so we'll get another S over here. Okay, so while I'm down here, we have a B for a bell, right? So let's go ahead and make it a B for bell. And I'm gonna go ahead and just do a little bit here. So do some copying and pasting if you want these. We don't have to have these. Let's see. Put a B here. We can put a B over here. Okay, so then again we have hmm, it's a reindeer, but it's Rudolph. Let's make it a capital R. That is Mr. Rudolph. And he guides the sleigh at night. Okay. So we have Rudolph, we have an S, we have a B. We have a B for Bell. Let's go ahead and mm, let's just make it a C. Okay. Just filling in letters wherever. So that we need a T. Right, for a tree. <clears throat> it looks like that on autofill um, capital, so we're just gonna have to keep it like that. But that's okay, your kiddos are working with capital and lowercase letters here. So there we have Santa, so let's get him, mm, let's do an M. And mm, it's doing hard. See what I mean? Sometimes you have to click out and then click, click back in. Okay, so we have Santa, we have tree. This one we need a P for presents, um, or it could be G for gifts. Mm, you put in there whatever your child would be more familiar with. I'm going to go ahead and say P for presents. Okay. And then we already have the S for the star. So let's go ahead and put, let's do an R. I'm going to copy and paste that just so we can put an R up here. And then you know what? Let's go on the next. Why not? Okay. So there we go, let's look at it. Let's see if we can, let's go back to 50% just to see what it looks like. See, that's looking really, really cute. You guys are creating a Christmas printable for your child. I'm so excited about this. And remember, moms, teachers, grandparents, whoever is watching this, it doesn't have to be perfect, okay? I love this, this is so cute, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and add a heading here. And let's just say Christmas fun, why not? So you can use either one of these. Look, so this one is smaller text, okay? This one is a little bit bigger, and this one is for a heading. So we're gonna go ahead 
and um, do that. And let's type in Christmas fun. Okay. Oops. Okay. And then so we'll go ahead and click and drag it down here. And again, I'm not worried about positioning or anything like that yet. Okay, and then let's go ahead and put phonics clip cards because that's what this is. Okay, but this is yours, so you can do whatever you want with it. So let's go back up to heading and type in phonics clip cards. I'm gonna make this one a little bit smaller, so I'm just gonna click and drag. Okay, click out, go back in. Sometimes it's a little bit finicky. Okay, and here comes the fun part. Okay, guys? So let's actually make this a little bit bigger. Okay. And then we get to make this whatever color we want. Okay. So to change the colors, um, let's go ahead and go up here. And so you have to make sure it's clicked on. Okay. Go up here to the colors where it says A. And let's make this red. Right? I mean, it is Christmas. Yay! I love Christmas. Can you tell? Okay, so Christmas fun, phonics, clip cards. Okay, so if we wanted to change um, the font, go ahead and click on this, and I just want to show you. So if you go up here, you can change the size up there, or you can click and drag, remember, here. So let's go up here. This is all the different fonts that you can use. Um, and if you click on these, you can see what they are. This one's more of a cursive font. Um, and then you can also type up here. I really like the kids' ones. Like I love this more sugar. Isn't that so cute? There's a cupcakes one that I like. Let's see what this looks like with the more sugar. So I clicked on it. I'm going to go over. Whoops, I was already on it. More sugar. You know, I think I'm going to take that back down to, let's see. Christmas fun, phonics, clip cards. I think I want that more bold. Whoops. Sorry, I keep doing that. All right, so I'm going to exit out of here. And then let's just go back to just the regular one. Yeah, so that's really cute. So we'll keep it like that with the different, the different um, fonts, because I think that's cute. So we have Christmas fun, phonics, clip cards, and then we have our boxes. So let's go ahead and look at this at 100%. Guys, I am going to um plug in my computer because i'm at three percent okay and i don't want to lose you because i think we are almost done so let's, see, let's plug this in okay we've got juice all right so now this is when i kind of go through and just um put myself up there go through and just line things up and move things around. So if you see something that's out of place, like this, you know, being someone who creates printables, I'm very weird about things and they have to line up. So just go through and do that. And then you will actually be finished. See, oh, look, I can already tell like these are just, let's move this. See if that helps a little. Move a little, it'll tell me. Should be centered. Okay. I think that looks really good. This is a little off. So, anyway, I honestly I have to tell myself to stop at certain points or I would just keep going with this. That's what happens when you create printables. You look for all these, you see all these mistakes. I wouldn't even say mistakes, just things that need fixed. So there you go. Yay! Um, we did create a fall printable last month, and actually we created two. And 
So this is your December printable that you can create for your child and feel good about it for free. Um, what you'll want to do then is print it out. I like to laminate my stuff just because it lasts longer, especially if you're going to be clipping um, with the small clothespins or the large clothespins or even the paper clips. So I would laminate this if you can. Um, I'll link to the laminator that I use below. Um, you can get it on Amazon. I think it was $30 and the paper for the laminators are about $8. Now I have heard moms say, I have not tried this yet, but I have heard them say that they actually buy the, the paper. It's not only like paper, it's like a plastic kind of thing um, for, that goes into the laminator. They don't have a laminator, but they, they buy the, the paper for it. Um, and then they put a towel on top and they actually iron it. And they say it works. So I don't know. Um, but you might want to try that if you don't have the money to buy a laminator right now. Um, or you can just use them without laminating them. Or maybe you can put them in a page protector that might be able to help um, to help keep them um, a little bit. So print this out, laminate if you can, and then have your child use um, those clothespins or paper clips to pick the correct letters. So you did it. I'm so, so proud of you. So make sure you do subscribe to my channel. There's going to be more of this videos every single Friday and lots and lots of crafts, activities, and printables for your little one. Okay. So I will actually see you in the next video. All right. Bye guys.